profe. In this channel, we will learn Spanish. En este canal, vamos a aprender español. I will be your professor. I am a native speaker of Spanish. And I hold a PhD in Spanish from the University of California. I have been teaching Spanish at the university level for over 20 years. Feel free to leave your comments below with any questions about learning Spanish and any video topics you would like me to cover. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Muchas gracias and thank you once again for being here with Spanish with Profe. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you do. And please, por favor, comparte mis videos con tus amigos y familiares en tus medios de comunicación sociales. Share my videos with your friends and families on your social media platforms. Muchas gracias. Muy bien. In this video, we are going to talk about the subjunctive. Yes, we are going to continue talking about the subjunctive for the next few videos. Yes, we're going to talk about the subjunctive with verbs of will and inferences. En este video, vamos a hablar sobre el subjuntivo. Sí, una vez más, vamos a hablar del subjuntivo hoy y en otros videos que vienen, que están por venir. ¡Listos, chicos! ¡Ready! Vamos a comenzar. Let's begin. In today's video, we're talking about the subjunctive. Yes, we're talking more about the subjunctive. And we'll, there will be a few more videos dealing with the subjunctive. The subjunctive, chicos, if you remember, is the mood. And that subjunctive cannot stand by itself. It needs something. It has to be triggered. It has to be triggered by verbs of emotion or want. Remember the weirdo or the wedding? Wishes, wants, will, emotions, impersonal expressions, requests, recommend, desire, doubt, and denial. Or ojalá, God willing. Or you can talk about wedding, wish, will, emotion, doubt, desire, denial. Impersonal expressions, negation, the G for general or for God or for maybe. Muy bien, chicos. So we have been learning the subjunctive. Remember the subjunctive that I gave you a formula. Whenever you learn a language, I want you to think like kind of like a math. So you learn a little formula that will help you make your life easier. So that subjunctive is going to have A, a subject A plus a verb, a verb in the weirdo or wedding category, plus K, plus B, and the B has to be a different person, and then the verb after that one will be the subjunctive. Remember that in order for you to have the subjunctive, you need to have a different subject. If you don't have a different subject, then you have to use the infinitive, and I'll give you some examples. So, uh, in today's lesson, we're talking about verbs of will and influence. And I'm going to give you a list of them that will trigger the subjunctive. Aconsejar. Aconsejar. Desear. Desear. Importar. Importar. Insistir en. Insistir en. Mandar, mandar. Necesitar, necesitar. Pedir, is a stain change. Preferir, is a stain change. Prohibir. Querer, is a stain change. Recomendar, is a stain change. Rogar, is a stain change. And sugerir, is a stain change. So all the verbs that I just mentioned will trigger the subjunctive provided that you have a subject A, one of those verbs, plus K, plus B, which is a different subject, a different person, and then the verb following the B will, the one, will be the one 
that is going to go in the subjunctive form. And the subjunctive form means that you are changing the ending of the verb. If it's an R, you're going to go E, S, E, Emos, N. If it's an E, then you're going to go A, as A, Amos, An. Remember that there will be regular verbs, irregular verbs, the same changing verbs. And for the same changing verbs, remember that they stand there are same changes in ar, er, and ir. For yo, tú, él, ella, usted, ellos, ellas, ustedes. There is no same change in nosotros for ar or er. However, in the subjunctive, there will be the same changes for nosotros in the ir ending. The o will go to a u and the e will go to an i. And once again, we're going to do the spelling change for car, gar and thought and her for all subject pronouns. Keep that in mind. Te aconsejo que estudies más. Te aconsejo que estudies más. I advise that you study more. So in English, there's no such change, but in Spanish, since I am advising you to study more, that requires the subjunctive because I is the subject A and you are the subject B. So and aconsejar is a verb that triggers the subjunctive, yes. Let's do numero dos. Deseamos que ellos blank comer menos. We wish for them to eat less. For them to eat less. But in Spanish, so the verb is comer. Am I going to choose coman or comen? So, deseamos is subject A, there's a K in there, and ellos will be subject B, and desear is one of the verbs in the list that triggers the subjunctive, provided that we have a second person that is different. So, the answer is, yes, coman. Deseamos que ellos coman menos. That is the subjunctive of comer, es coman. Muy bien. How about the next one? Les pedimos que blank llegar temprano. Les pedimos blank que llegar temprano. Les pedimos. Oh, oh. So, llegar. Llegar is a verb that ends in gar. So, we need to make a spelling change. G-U. If it's the subjunctive. Is it the subjunctive? Yes, it is the subjunctive because... We are asking them to arrive early. So, les pedimos que lleguen temprano. Lleguen. L-L-E-G-U-E-N. Muy bien. How about the next one? Okay. Número cuatro. Es importante que nosotros blank lavarse las manos. Oh, oh, lavarse. Okay, so es importante. That is an impersonal expression. And then we have nosotros, so we do have two different subjects. Es importante is subject A, and there is a que, and there is nosotros, that is subject B. So we need to put the lavarse in the subjunctive form. So it's, es importante que nosotros nos lavemos las manos. Yes, because it's lavar, so we have to switch the ending. Lavar is an AR, so we have to switch it to an E ending. Hemos, que nos lavemos las manos. Muy bien. So remember that in order for you to have the subjunctive, you need to have two different subjects. The subject A, a different person, plus a verb from the weirdo, the wedding category, plus K, plus the subject B. And if that is the case, you're going to have, after B, the verb in there, you're going to put in the subjunctive. That means that the ending is going to change. Okay. But what happens if you don't have that? We'll see that in a minute. So let's look at this. So a plus a verb from the weirdo, the wedding category, plus k plus b plus the verb in the subjunctive. For example, ella quiere que ustedes blank irse pronto. Ella quiere que ustedes blank irse pronto. So ella is subject a. Querer is one of the verbs in the list that triggers the subjunctive. And we have ustedes, so we have a, a subject A, a verb from the list that triggers the subjunctive. And we have ustedes, the subject B. 
So that means that IRSE is going to be the subjunctive or the indicative. El subjuntivo, and that will be uh, IRSE is a weird one because it's IR, but it's being reflexive. So, ella quiere que ustedes se vayan, se vayan pronto. She wants you to go home early. Muy bien. Nosotros recomendamos que Samuel no blank tanto. The verb is hablar, hablar. Es nosotros, subject A. Recomendar is a verb from the list that triggers the subjunctive. And we have a second person, which is Samuel. So the verb is hable. Yes, that will be the subjunctive. Nosotros recomendamos que Samuel no hable tanto. No hable tanto. Nosotros recomendamos que Samuel no hable tanto. Muy bien. If there's no change in subject, you're going to put the second verb in the infinitive. Don't do anything to it. For, eja for ejemplo, es necesario comer verduras. It's necessary to eat a uh, vegetable. For whom? It doesn't say. It's just necessary to eat a uh, vegetable. So, siguiente. Yo necesito comer verduras. I need to eat vegetables. Who needs to eat vegetables? I do. There's no change in subject. Versus follow. Look at this other one. Es necesario que yo coma verduras. You notice that? It is necessary that I eat vegetables. Since it's necessary subject A, and then there is a K, and there is a yo, therefore the verb comer has to become in the subjunctive. Es, es necesario que yo coma verduras. In order for you to have the subjunctive, you need to have a subject A plus a verb from the weirdo, the wedding category that will trigger the subjunctive, plus K, plus a B subject, a different person, and then the verb after the B person has to, if it's, if it's one of the verbs on the first part in A that triggers the subjunctive, you're going to do the subjunctive by changing the ending of the verb. Keep in mind that there are irregular verbs, stem changing verbs, and for spelling changes, car, gar, sar, and head, we'll have to do that for all the subject pronouns. No se les olvide. And if there's no change in subject, you're just going to conjugate the first verb and leave the second one in the infinitive. Muy bien, chicos. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Muchas gracias y smash the like button.